In this project I'm going to show you how to do some very simple word art. First thing you need to do is go up to File and New Project. This is the landing screen you'll usually get. Um, and we're going to do a screen uh, template here. So if you click along the bottom here where it says Screen, I'm just going to do a HD which is 1280 pixels by 720 and click Create. I oh, should give it a name as well. So I'm going to call this project Word Art. To uh, put text onto a document, you need to click on the text tool down here. You click and drag. Um, and then you'll notice up here this toolbar's changed. This toolbar will change depending on what you've selected down on the main toolbar along the side. Um, I'm going to change this font size to something um, relevant, 150. Hit enter. Now when I go back in here and I start typing um, something like um, then I've got um, my word selected I can just click and drag this here um, if I want to move it I can go up to the move tool and I can move it around if this is not selected this transform button up here you won't be able to you might be able to move it but you won't be able to change the size um, you can click and drag from the corners to change the size like that and then if I go back over to the text tool you'll notice the size has actually changed. Um, if I want to change the font size I need to highlight it and then I go in here and I click on uh, the font, find a font I like. I'm going to use this one. I'm actually, that font made me think maybe I should use it's a different word. <clears throat> so I'm going to change, use jungle instead. Now that's a bit too big, uh, so I'm going to highlight it again. I'm going to change the font size here. Um, you're going to aim to have about six different words with different meanings. Once I've done that, I then go down to the layer palette. Layer palette's here, and I'm going to click on the EFF. And then I'm going to click on one of these. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to start with stroke, and that will put stroke around it. But more importantly, it brings up this menu, the layer style. All of these are different things that you can do. So I can click on drop shadow and it will change. If I want to change the drop shadow, I go down here and I can change the distance the drop shadow comes out. I can even change the angle that it comes out. <coughs> I can even change the angle it comes out. I'm going to go back to stroke because I don't think this color is very good for a jungle at all. I think I'll probably go for a dark green. And then I'm going to put a, uh, I think I'm going to put a gradient on it. And I'm going to change the gradient by clicking on the gradient color here. And then I'm going to keep the white. I'm going to change this to a different color. I click on that and then I click here and I'm going to change this to a light color. Um, and then I have to click OK here and then OK here. So there is my jungle word art. Um, try and come up with six different words that uh, have their image as their meaning. Good luck. Have fun. You can use fonts to, as a mask to cut out pictures as well. So I'm going to show you how you can create a word that has some meaning using textures. Uh, this is uh, my example. I've taken a city and I've um, used the font Summer. Um, in order to do this, I um, did this. So you go File, New. <clears throat> I'm going to just do a, a screen down here, HD, and click Create. I'm then going to go to the Type tool here, click on it click and drag and I'm going to type a word in here which the word I'm going to use is summer and I'm going to try and find a font that uh, represents summer it needs to be quite a chunky font as well and I'm going to change the font size if it, you need it bigger than 150, which in this case I'm going to uh, change it to 220. Uh, move tool over here, click on the move tool and move it across. I'm then going to go and find a picture. Um, in this case, I've, um, I've looked for a city of London picture. Um, I could go tools and search for size large. Right click copy. Now I can see the image size is 1366 by 768, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you might have to click to the website um, in order to get the full rendered picture. I then go over to Photo P and then I just go Edit Paste or Control V. 
and there is my uh, city. I'm going to drag this layer up so the summer layer is on top and then I'm going to use the magic wand tool to click to click outside of the word summer. I may need to um, I can then go select an inverse. Now I've selected the word summer. Um, I think I'm going to keep that R uh, with the gap missing. So the reason I've done that was it was easy to click on the outside and then go up to the select option here and click inverse. And that way um, I've selected the letters. I then kind of ignore um, this layer and I change to the image layer. And all I'm going to do is go edit, copy, edit, paste. And if you watch the layer stack, it suddenly changed. We've got a new layer there. And let me hide the background layer and let me hide the summer. And there I've got my uh, city uh, to make this stand out better, I'm now going to go to the effects layer and I'm going to just put a quick stroke onto this. Uh, here's a stroke that I've already set up. Um, so what I've done is rather than a color, I've chosen um, gradient and then I've gone in and I've clicked on the uh, color here and then I've clicked here to change the color. You click OK um, and then I've selected shape burst rather than a linear one which works, but I'm going to do shape burst. And I can put a drop shadow on to make it stand out even better. Click OK. The last thing I'm going to do is image adjustments and I'm going to go to exposures to give it a summer overexposure. I'm just going to change that slightly so it's brighter and then click OK. And I've got my word up.